What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you all a few super useful creative maps that'll help you improve at Fortnite in Chapter 2 Season 7. And before we hop into it, I want to let you all know that I'm beginning to post every single day on Instagram and TikTok as well as YouTube with a bunch of awesome tips and tricks content kind of like what's on this channel. So if you want to see even more daily tips and tricks content alongside the YouTube, then be sure to drop a follow on those as well so you don't miss out. The Instagram is just Teko spelled the exact same as my YouTube and the TikTok is Teko with two H's at the end. If you do decide to drop a follow on either of those platforms, then drop a comment with your username down below and I may follow a few of you guys back as well. But with all that said and without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first map of this video is a super useful crosshair placement map made by a map builder named Zenex60. This guy has a ton of awesome maps and I felt like this would be a really helpful one to show you guys first. Essentially this map is meant to help you improve your habits when it comes to editing, especially in terms of crosshair placement. As you may know, optimizing your crosshair placement and thus moving your crosshair as little as possible while editing is one of the best ways to edit faster and build consistency. So when you hop into this map, you're going to be greeted by this little lobby area where you're going to have three choices for practice. Crosshair placement edits, edit and aim course, and peace control plus free build. As you might expect, the main intention here is to show the crosshair placement section, but I will say the other sections are definitely worth checking out as well if you're interested. With that said, once you're in the crosshair placement section, you can choose any of the edits, whether you want to focus on a specific build piece or do all of them. And once you're actually in a course, your goal should basically be to keep your crosshair close to the lines and circles which are around the structures as they show the most efficient way to move your crosshair in order to perform the edit. You'll want to start nice and slow with this and eventually get slightly faster as you improve. Just keep in mind that the goal here isn't to edit crazy fast or go for the fastest speed you can get, but rather to edit as efficiently as possible and really try to nail down the most optimal editing patterns. But with that said, this map is super useful for improving your crosshair placement. Once again, a big shout out to the next 60 underscore insta on Instagram for making this map and the the code is going to be up on screen if you want to try the map out. Moving on from that, the next map is by another awesome map builder named Tito, and this one is called Tito's Realistic Edit slash Peace Control Map V4. As the name implies, this map has an absolute ton of peace control and editing scenarios which are updated to Season 7, as you can see in the background. This map is absolutely huge and has so many different scenarios, far too many to cover in just one section of one video, so I do strongly recommend that you guys hop in here and give it a shot. The map also has some really cool features like instant reload, custom movement, speed and various extra game modes you can try out as well if you're interested. There's a bunch of stuff in here and it's super useful for improvement so definitely give this one a shot if you're looking to improve your editing and peace control. With that said, the code for Tito's map is going to be up on screen right now. And the next map that I want to cover is one by the notorious Raider464 and this one is called Raider's Mechanics Routine. This map has been around for a few months now but it's still one of the most useful maps for improving your mechanics. The map is fully single player so you don't have to worry about finding players or entering matchmaking as well. But with that said, this map contains a few different sections including free build which is obviously just a regular free build, edit timing where you can practice editing super quickly on one tile which helps a ton with your overall timing and speed when it comes to editing. You also have peace control edit drills which are basically tunnels full of pre-built structures which you can edit through and sort of just practice some of the edit patterns involved in peace control. You've also got peace control tunnels which are basically empty tunnels where you're meant to build and edit through to simulate peace control situations. And finally the last section is crosshair training where you can basically practice efficient editing patterns. This is kind of similar to the first map, except the first map was more of a course format rather than like a room where you have a bunch of build pieces and you're essentially meant to practice each one over and over. With that said, I do strongly recommend that you try out this mechanics practice map by Raider, as it's got a ton of super useful drills and is overall just a great map for improvement. If you want to give this map a shot, the code is going to be up on screen right now. Finally guys, the last map that I want to cover in this video is basically a map that includes a ton of other maps, and this is Panville's Creative Hub. This map, made by the Notorious map builder Panville is basically a hub which contains matchmaking portals to a ton of different maps. Obviously, I can't really cover a ton of maps in one video, but luckily for you guys, this map has a ton of portals to a bunch of different maps. These include various box fight and realistic fighting maps, zone war maps, peace control maps, aim maps, and all sorts of stuff you can use to improve as a player in Fortnite. So overall, this map should be a great tool if you're looking for a variety of maps to use in practice, and I'll put the code up on screen if you guys want to check it out. And just as a quick warning for you guys, be super careful with matchmaking into this hub. If you do matchmaking to actually enter the hub using the join a server portal in the back, chances are you're going to be put in a lobby with about 16 players, all screaming into their mics and blasting music, scaring the living you know what out of you while you're trying to record a YouTube video. But with all that said guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video on the best creative maps you can use for improvement in Fortnite. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. As well as that, once again, be sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok for more awesome 
some tips and tricks content. The handles for both of those are going to be up on screen right now. And if you do decide to follow, then drop your username down below along with the platform that you followed on, and I might go and follow a few of you guys back. But with that said, thank you all for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.